what are the unique benefits I get from using machine learning as a trading tool that no other tool can provide? Can I build a profitable trading strategy, not investment, using AI and ML? What is the best financial market in terms of suitability with AI and ML? What are the true capabilities and limitations of using AI and ML in trading? I believe uh, a series of questions asked by users. So yeah, Dr. Chan. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that um, uh, the um, you know if if one has a, a very good uh, intuition uh, on uh, you know what what the inefficiency is in a particular market. Uh, then one does not need um, ML or AI. Uh, this is um, unlike a self-driving car. You know, in, in a self-driving car, uh, you use artificial intelligence to replicate what a human uh, can do. You know, a human can navigate a busy street. They can avoid accidents. They can accelerate when there's no traffic. They can decelerate when there's a lot of traffic. So the AI mostly is just replicating what a human driver can do and maybe, you know, do a better job of it because it's never get tired and you can watch 360 uh, degree. That is not the function of ML and AI in trading because in trading, if the human trader already can identify the inefficiency, all you need to do is to code up a quantitative strategy and automate trading you do not need ML and AI for that. In trading, what ML and AI is deployed is to find patterns that a human trader cannot discover. And it cannot, he, he or she cannot discover it because they are too, the relationship might be too complex between variables or simply there are too, you know, because there are too many variables, too many input features, or because um, there are no um, intuition about what exactly um, uh, those features are going to provide us. Um, you know, for example, you, you, you know, you've just just looking at technical indicators. There are you know many. You can create 50, 100 technical indicators based on one time one time series, uh, and they each has their merit. Some of them are mean reverting. Some of them momentum. Some of them. Uh, do this and some of them do that. Some of them works well in a um, uh, in a volatile period, and others uh, don't. So you know, if you have so many input parameters, uh, input features, and you are not, uh, uh, you know, you don't have a particular strong conviction of what should work and what shouldn't work, uh, then machine learning is the only way that you can hope to extract alpha from all these features. Some of these features, by uh, on a standalone basis, may be very weak, and uh, they can only work if it is combined in a suitable manner with other uh, features, and uh, which human, uh, you know, a human trader cannot uh, really possibly do. So those are the situations uh, when you have um, a, a, a lack of intuition and too many post potential input where the machine learning is most useful. Now, um, I should also uh, mention that uh, there is the um, notion of uh, meta-labeling in trading, which has been popularized uh, recently by Dr. Lopez de Prado. And um, the idea is of meta-labeling is that even if you have a very clear intuition about what to trade, what the inefficiency is, you can still uh, see if machine learning can improve the basic strategy by including other features to try to predict whether your intuition or your simple trading strategy uh, is wrong. When, when is it more likely to be wrong uh, and try to avoid those trades. So that's another way uh, that machine learning can be used is that uh, uh, is to apply a second layer of um, correction to your basic uh, trading strategy. 